So Lisa, what, what do you get out of practicing yoga? What do I get out of practicing yoga? So much. Um, my, my yoga practice has changed my life entirely. Uh, I've become a, 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 what yoga teaches you are the tools of how to cope with life and how to handle difficult situations mm -hmm. and to embrace your joy more. And uh, it's definitely helped me on become a stronger person inside, more confident person, mm. and able to handle any kind of situation that comes up. When you're in public and you get irritated with people, they're pushing, shoving, or they're, they're not acting toward you the way that you want, or something, you know, my, my teacher always says, never let anything or anyone steal your peace. Mm -hmm. And so that's a practice to not let anyone or anything steal ab, your peace. Ab, ab, you're, you're, we are challenged every day with our peace being taken from us. And so that's truly one of the greatest things. Um, it has helped to remove fear from my life. Tell me fear about that. Fear and anxiety. You know, I, I mean, I, I, I grew up with my fair share of insecurities, feeling insecure about the way I looked or how I sounded or if I was good enough. and. Uh, and stress, stressing of, of uh, things aren't going the way that you want them to go. And yoga has taught me to calm down, mm -hmm. to observe mm -hmm. from a, a distance, to watch things like a movie mm -hmm. in front of me. It, it's taught me to not react, to not be a reactive person, to not be judgmental, and um, to practice acceptance and to allow uh, the, the process of things to happen and not trying to control everything all of the time, just to allow things to happen naturally. And in your business as a photographer, you're dealing with personalities, you're dealing with egos, you're dealing with uh, time constraints, and particularly with this book, when you're dealing mm -hmm. you know, with rock and roll and all the egos there, uh, I can imagine how the yoga has helped you. No? Well, sure. I mean, when I photograph guitars, typically I, I tell them, hey, I only need an hour of your time. So when I arrive on the scene, in that hour, I have to set up my lighting gear, my camera gear, the this, this setting. And so that takes me, you know, 15 to 20 minutes. So now I've got 40 minutes to finish. And sometimes I get access to more than one guitar. Well, it takes a good 10 minutes, 15 minutes just to shoot one guitar mm -hmm. so you get two three four in there so I'm under pressure and never let them see you sweat right, right? <laughs> so uh, I remain pretty calm and I, I, truthfully I find my breath this yoga teaches you to work with your breath and that's where you combat the fear mm -hmm. with your breath anytime that you're feeling fearful or anxiety or stress we go to the breath always even when you're in the posture of the of the asana right. and you're struggling in that posture it's hard then what you do is you focus on your breath and you calm down and you relax your muscles and then suddenly you ease into the posture and you can hold it so the same thing when I'm under pressure photographing guitar my abdominal muscles generally I have I'm because I'm using my core strength sure. I'm hauling gear around I'm photographing I'm lifting guitars I'm flipping them over quickly sometimes I see people the guitar techs look and they go oh my god look, you know but then they see that I'm actually handling the guitar very well and With they love. they see me they're they're they you I they can see I'm handling handling it think just fine and they don't interject usually they just go okay she's cool She's got it down, not a problem. And I, I truthfully, though, I'm, I'm constantly in contact with my abdominals and my breath when I'm shooting it in those kinds of cool. tense situations. Cool.